Pirates, in case you missed this, lost again today, seven to nothing. They get swept by St. Louis. They're now ten out, ten games under 500. We're talking about since we last were here, the Pirates signed both manager Clint Hurdle and GM Neil Huntington. And from what I can understand, Chris Mack, they did so without any assurances that there's going to be more money spent or a change in direction. So what do you make of these signings? Well, I, I don't know what assurances were given or not given, but I think this sets up an interesting scenario where if you were a general manager looking for job security at a point where you may be looking to also retool or I'll stay this short of saying rebuild uh, a team, it would help a whole heck of a lot to have four years on your deal rather than just a single option year picked up. So I think it could affect very much so what direction the Pirates go in this offseason. I think you're looking at uh, the, the, big, the best way this team, I shouldn't say the best, the fastest way this team gets better in the offseason without spending money, which we know is not going to happen, is to trade Andrew McCutcheon and or Garrett Cole. Attendance down 20%, less money coming in. You're telling me more money's going out that they're going to you know, sign free agents or make a trade for salary? No way. So I'm with Chris on this. I think what we could very easily see is, all right, we're going to go Atlanta Brave style or Chicago White Sox style, blow this thing up. The manager thinks, well, wait, if you do that, I'm not going to win games. I'm going to, not, I'm going to get fired. Well, he gets a four-year extension. Maybe the good question should be, what do Clint Hurdle and Neil Huntington see in this organization and in this team's owner? Why didn't they go out this offseason and try to get themselves better I'd, jobs? I'd love to know that, Andrew, and I think that's the best question here, especially from Clint Hurdle's viewpoint. Um, He's 60. Well, I He's think 60. I, why do you want to preside over another one of these? If, if you guys are correct with your hypothesis and you're Clint Hurdle, why on earth do you want to try to shut Because he's comfortable, pictures? Chris. Well, I, I understand I, some that. Some of us get come on. Some no. of us wear T-shirts on set. Some of us get married. I mean, we all settle down at some. Point. I think both of these guys are concerned about some of the bloom coming off their rows over the last two years. Could they just walk out and get another job somewhere else this off season? I don't know. If I it think would they could. Neil happen. Huntington would get picked up immediately because Neil Huntington's uh, basically the same thing as Andrew Friedman. And I'm sorry, some bigger pocketed well, team you say is that, going Chris, to try to put him on there. But when was the last time he made a good move? I understand that he's but when was the last time he ever got to operate under the kind of circumstance where he could afford to make a bad move and fix what about it with the money move I mean, aside from first I don't picks. I don't like his drafting and development at large but it's a lot easier to be good as a GM when you don't have to be perfect drafting uh, drafting excuse me and developing your players I just think Neil Huntington would get a job in a bigger city with bigger resources if he was out there on the open market but there has to be a GM's job open I know. somewhere first and I don't know if there's necessarily going to be the one available for him this offseason Season. But there will be managerial jobs. There could be. I mean, Hurdle could. If, if you're Clint Hurdle, would you rather go somewhere and start all over again, or would you rather stay where you are? And I think that goes back to what you said about them being comfortable. Interesting how they're going to sell this in a PR move if they do make changes and if they don't add on. What are you going to say? Well, we'll find out. One thing we found out this weekend is that Juan Nicasio can pitch, and maybe uh, a team like St. Louis, which had bullpen issues can use this guy if they get into the postseason to something much better than uh, the Pirates ever envisioned happening. And they got nothing for it. The Phillies got a player for it. Just a bad move all the way around. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this.